when was a time you interacted with a seemingly normal person, but later found out that they were not? I worked at Circuit City as a teenager and was helping someone looking at TVs. My boss called me over and said he needed me up front to help at checkout. Thought it was weird because there wasn't a line, but whatever. Turns out the guy I was helping was Drew Peterson, who has since been convicted of murder. This was back when he was just a suspect, but my boss recognized him from the news and didn't want to compromise my safety. My 18 year old daughter dated this guy for about 5 months. She told me he was a little weird at times. I just thought he was super shy. He called me mom. He would play video games with my son. They moved in together and he changed from being a hard worker to not going to work and expecting her to provide financially and do all the chores. She went out of town and came back to find he hadn't taken good care of her dog. She broke up with him. The next day he killed her. I was in a reenactment group when I was younger, along with my family and others. Two of the dads were like the head honches, running the show, and they did it wonderfully. We were a part of this group for years. Then come to find out that one of those head honches had been sexually abusing his daughter since she was 7, she was 15, when it came out. He only did 3 years. Back in the late 90s, I had a friend from work whose brother hung out with us a few times when we'd go out. He seemed normal. A few years later, he allegedly, his family maintains he's innocent, set off a couple of bombs at biotech companies as part of some extreme animal rights group he'd gotten mixed up in. He managed to evade the FBI and disappeared. It being shortly after 9 over 11, the FBI put him in their top 10 for a while and America's Most Wanted did a profile on him. As far as I know, he's never been caught. I worked with a guy that was later found guilty of murder by intentionally leaving his toddler in a hot car. My ex-wife and I even had dinner with him and his wife. Everything seemed completely normal. Worked with a woman for two years at a child related business, perfectly normal mother type with multiple children. While we worked together, she was on vacation, took her youngest child, 2Y slash O, out on a hike, and stabbed him in the chest with a chef's knife. She then called 911 and frantically reported they had been mugged. The police knew something was up, because she also said nothing had been taken. Child miraculously survived, and it came out later that an affair she was having had been exposed that night before the stabbing. Turns out the child was a product of the affair. Talk about misplaced blame. I was flying freight to an island in the Caribbean. One day I landed and began to rush to unload the plane due to a storm being quite visible on the horizon. A man was standing next to the runway, casually watching and nothing else, until I tripped and almost fell. He laughed. My response was to throw the box I was carrying at him, and yell that, if he was going to just stand there like a useless lump, that I was going to put his a asterisk asterisk to work. He looked surprised then actually did begin to help unload the plane, and I left without even knowing his name. I was enlightened several days later, when I came again. That man was the millionaire who owned a neighboring island that they worked on. I had thrown a box at David Copperfield. I worked with a guy like 15 years ago, seemed like a smart funny guy. We never hung out or anything, but we were friendly at work. About 10 years ago he went to his ex-wife's house and killed her, then himself. His kids were in the house. Knew a kid in high school who was nice to me, and so I would hang out with him from time to time. He was always getting into trouble though, and I finally stopped hanging out with him after he brought a knife to school. Fast forward 5 year. He is now in prison for shooting a man to death over a pound of weed. I chatted with a random guy in the laundry room of our apartment complex. He was nice, friendly, outgoing kind of fellow. Skinny thing. A few weeks later I ran into him and his girlfriend on the elevator. 
I said hey Mike, how's it going? He proceeded to tell me how it was not going well for him, he'd been evicted from our apartment complex because he had like 8 people living with him, had been stabbed while he was on the bus coming home from an AA meeting, was recovering from the stab wound when his girlfriend, the one who was with him in the elevator at that very moment, broke up with him, his side piece was pregnant and the bitch in the front office wanted him to turn in his key as soon as possible. I was just kind of like cool, cool. Well, see you around. We had a friend of the family that would always talk to us about going to his summer camp, cool guy. The only thing was my dad did not like to send us away on summer and would rather have us work with him at his store. Turns out the guy was a pedo and would molest and take pics of the camp kids. Met a random elder gentleman while walking back to my car after a night out. The guy was dressed in khakis and a collared sweatshirt and looked harmless. He asked for a few bucks and informed me that he was new to the area and down on his luck. Turned out that the Illinois Department of Corrections had given him a one-way bus ticket to Atlanta. He had just finished a plus 20 year sentence for murdering his ex-wife and her lover. He was trying to reconnect with his daughter who he hadn't seen since she was a little kid. I used to work on a market stall on a busy high street. Like most market traders I got to know the others, and one guy would sometimes help out on another stall and we would chat during quieter periods. He was an older guy and really friendly. Kind of like a stereotypical uncle figure. While having breakfast one morning skimming through the news I see his face and has been arrested for cannibalism. WTF. Now has spending 9 years in prison for trying to eat people. When I was 14 dealing with anorexia, I had to get my blood drawn. While he was drawing my blood, he was kinda feeling my boobs and telling me it helps with the blood flow. A year later he got arrested for feeling other girls and telling them the same thing. He ended up getting 19 years. Still have a fear of a man touching me when I go to the doctors. I went to a family gathering with my wife at the time that included a brother of hers that was rarely around. He was something of the black sheep of the family. It was my first time meeting him. He was nice. We played some volleyball in the pool, chatted, had a few beers. It was a great day. Found out the following week that he was wanted by the police at the time of the party for abducting and murdering his ex-girlfriend. He is currently in prison for the rest of his life. That was surreal as shit to discover. I was going to pay for petrol, and an older woman was going to reach the counter at the same time as me. I gestured for her to go first and smiled. She smiled back and paid for her things. As soon as she was done she turned around and started to scream about me being foreign and taking good jobs. She continues to call me a beast and all sorts of bizarre insults. I realize this woman is obviously troubled and just smile and pay for my things. She keeps going till I'm out of earshot and dear god I should have just paid first. There was a girl at scout camp who seemed a bit off. But I mean, it's scout camp, everyone's a bit off. She seemed like maybe a kid that didn't get enough hugs. The guys and girls had to sleep in separate bunks because we were horny as hell and the leaders didn't want to deal with that. This girl went psycho around 11 the second night. Corralled all the girls into one small room and kept threatening them with a knife. I think it was the girl from our group that managed to sneak out a window and alert the rest of us. Cops came and dealt with it and it was actually pretty low key after her leader convinced her to drop the knife and let the girls out. was given a new employee to manage. Normal guy. Until a few weeks later I see him shoving toothpicks under his finger nails. Deeper and deeper five at a time. I asked him what was up with that and he just said it makes me feel better, relaxed. Got to know him more and more, turns out he was in and out of some mental institutions, all self-admitted. No idea what his inner demons were though. We hired a new girl at work. I had a job where you could work and chat at the same time, 
so we got to know each other quickly. She was nice and everything, but I was really put off by her endless poop stories. She used to drive long distances for work and shit in a bucket in her car. She once shit in a plastic bag and kept it in her pocket. The list goes on and on. Nobody wants to know, but she just can't stop. There was a guy in my Sunday school classes who seemed normal, even somewhat interesting company. Then one night all the students and their parents were called to the church and we learned that guy was a serial rapist. His attendance in Sunday school was part of a long con to groom a girl as his next victim. I used to buy weed off a friend of a friend. Dude was a six and a half foot tall Jamaican. He'd come to my house pretty regular. He always seemed pretty cool and laid back. I guess some other dudes crossed him in some deal. Gone bad so he took them out in the woods and made them dig their own graves and shot them in the head. I knew a kid in high school a year younger than me in my required personal communications class. He sat at our table and was a jocester, so he was easy to get along with and fun to be around. We never were close outside of that class, just were when we were in it at the time. Found out my mid-senior year that he was caught with child porn and apparently his electronic slash phone use had been watched by the FBI for a little while before it due to suspicious activities that led them to believe he was watching and saving that sort of material. Absolutely never would have imagined him to be a pedophile and someone who would be involved with such things. On the outside he was a completely normal kid, if not a bit extroverted, and liked by most people, 